So we're getting a ton of content this year. It's almost overwhelming if you think about it because we're getting the 1.16 Nether update. We're also getting a separate update for the Mountains. Mountains won Minecon last year, so they're actually going to make a separate update specifically for the Mountains. And you never know. We could also see content for the Swamp, the Savannah, the Desert, the Badlands. There's a ton of biomes that they still have to update in Minecraft, and they might be planning to release some of that content this year. We're also going to learn more about 1.17 and 1.18 toward the middle of the year, which is really exciting. So we got a ton of content, a ton of features and updates to look forward to. So I figured why not focus on my top three features that I'm looking forward to seeing the most in 2020. So hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. If you can do me a huge favor, crush the like button for me. In fact, let's see if we can get over 14 likes in today's video. And don't forget to hashtag Stealth Army because I will be liking and favoriting some of the best comments in today's video. Now, let's go ahead and kick it off with number three, which would have to be the introduction of more biomes in the nether. Now, we already know about three biomes that we're going to get in the nether update but they're also going to introduce even more biomes. Now, there's not an exact number as to how many new biomes we're getting. I believe they're going to introduce at least three more, but so far we have Soul Sand Valley, which looks to be one of the creepiest, spookiest biomes in all of Minecraft. You got blue fire, and it just looks incredible. And then we got the Nether Warp Forest blue and the Nether Warp Forest red. And it's definitely giving me that avatar feel. It looks like it has a ton of vegetation and maybe some other mysterious features that we don't entirely know of yet. And of course, they announced eventually they're going to include even more biomes in the nether. So the nether update is looking like one of the best updates ever and easily one of the largest updates. And it makes you wonder what other types of biomes will we see in the 1.16 update coming later this year. Share some of your ideas down below, but let's move on to number two on my list, which would have to be snowier snow. That's right. Watch your step. The snow is snowier than before. No, I'm just kidding, guys. We're going to leave snowier snow probably at number 10, but I have to say I am looking forward to seeing the mountain update, which is the biome that I voted for during Minecon, and I'm looking forward to seeing the new world generation or biome generation for the mountains. The mountains will finally look like actual mountains. They'll have peaks, they'll have sharp edges. They will form into a mountain instead of this sloppy looking block of mess that has gravel and stone and bits of snow all over that just look like mounds. They don't look like mountains. Instead, they look like this sad version. Even the llamas are disappointed. Whenever you see a llama, it just looks like it's stuck and it doesn't know what to do because it's not even in an area that resembles a mountain. So I'm really excited about that. I know a lot of you are looking forward to seeing goats. Goats will be coming in this update as well. So we have a lot to look forward to in the mountain update. But let's move on to number one on my list. And I feel like this feature, or specifically this mob, has the most potential to be the coolest feature of 2020, the piglins, which are essentially the equivalent of villagers, except they live in the nether, and they love gold, and they will trade with you. Technically, it's called bartering if you have gold, and you definitely want to be wearing gold or the piglins will attack you. So clearly, they're more violent in nature. They're not friendly at all, but they will be introducing new trades, new items specifically for the piglins and the bartering system, which is really crazy. We're getting a ton of content that is specific to piglins and their lifestyle and the new environments and everything surrounding piglins, including a new home. That's right, the piglins are getting a crib in the nether, randomly generated. We don't entirely know what it's going to look like yet, if it's going to be more similar to the nether fortress or if it's going to be more closely resembling the outpost. We don't know yet, but the piglins will have a home base and I can't wait to go into that base and steal their loot. 
So clearly we have a lot to look forward to. Let me know what your top three features that you're looking forward to seeing are down below in the comment section. Thank you guys again for watching today's video. Notification squad, y'all are the best, and I'll catch you all in the next video. So take care, everyone. Peace. Captain Falcon!